Okay. Um, we got a nice little uh, text thread that's talking. Where do, where do um, we begin? I want to begin. I want to, I'm not trying to be like hot take guy. Like you guys know me well enough. I don't do that. But Q freeze to Auburn. Hmm. What do we think about that based on, I'm not against second chances by any stretch, but we have to look at facts of how it went down in football from a sanction standpoint off the field to getting one of the bigger jobs in America after doing a miraculous job at a very unique place in Liberty. I think that's fair to assess. It's got its own niche. What, what was like your reaction to that? It was like, yeah, of course he got it. Like he's been balling. He gets it. Or was it like, well, that's, that's interesting. He got a huge job, a bigger job than he even had previously in the same league. Go ahead, Darian. I'll, I'll go after you. You know, OG, take it away. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought it was very SEC-ish. I thought it was very SEC-ish. If, if you're going to just go – just barring any values and it's just going to be about winning. You might as well go all in. You should have hired urban Meyer then. Yeah. You should have just went and got coach Meyer. If you're just going to be record, be damned and indiscretions be damned. What are you doing with Hugh freeze? You might as well go get urban Meyer. You don't think urban Meyer wouldn't have Auburn in this discussion at this point next year with the NIL. So you go get Hugh freeze. And for those of you that don't know, you can look at all that stuff up. Very unseemly things at, at, at uh, Ole Miss. Ole Miss. Yeah. The duffel bag stuff is one thing, but, he's flying in escorts from Tampa and he's got escorts himself and there's phone records and all these things. And then he has to fold. He did. He never, he never challenged anything about him. He, all those things about him. He never went to court. He never went to the school. He never, he just took the loss. He left 20 something million on the table and he's on out of town. Like he, like there was no question about what was happening. So, is he that great of a ball coach? He probably is a great ball coach. Is he a better ball coach than Urban Meyer? No, sir. So, if you're gonna if you're gonna be in state with the Roman Army, what are you doing over here? If it's just bear, if it's just bear, it's just about winning. If it's just about winning, well, I can get more out of Urban Meyer than I could over here. More recruiting, more more heavyweight headlines, more everything. Urban Meyer could stand in the state next to Saban. I just thought it was a lazy, very SEC-ish, right country club, right time hire. Yeah. I, the only funny part I would say about his his uh, his journey is he did go to Liberty and coach. Maybe he got reformed. Liberty is a very <laughs> – um, Maybe. And so, look, he did go somewhere to prove uh, – that maybe he he's been purified of his ways. So he went to Liberty, did his thing, and and their program, they had a, they had a great run, they had a really good run with him. So I mean, yeah, found Malik yeah. Willis, brought him down there. Yeah, they they done some nice things. Right, like that's and so I think what he's done in that program, like to me, Liberty has had more national attention the past couple of years than I've ever heard Liberty get. So I mean, he's he's definitely built program, showed it, showed it can be sustainable. And obviously, you you exemplify that with more resources. More clout, bigger, bigger logo. I mean, I think the track record shows he can get something done. I do agree, like the stain on what he's done is uh is definitely like very weighty. I know a bunch of Auburn fans definitely felt some type of way about it, but it's done. It's, done. it's done. Like I think he like I think it, it definitely like football wise, it, it gives him a competitive guy. I think obviously they saw they didn't think Cadillac could be a head coach, but they promoted him to assistant head coach. I think it's cool. So hopefully they can get something done down there. Yogi, what did you think when you saw the headline, Hugh Freeze to Auburn? Well, George, you and I uh, probably see the world very similarly on, on many fronts. Uh, this one isn't much different. I have no problem with individuals getting second chances. In fact, I endorse second chances. I think that's life. I think we grow. I think we evolve. But I also think your second chance doesn't always have to be one where you get to lead young men and the next generation of leaders at a premier place like that. I think that needs to be earned. Um, and I think sometimes 
your decisions in life eliminate certain opportunities. So, so that's when I saw that. I was like, okay, like clearly the officials at Auburn are fine with it. And I'm sure he's, to Darian's point, reformed or whatever he went through, which is which I'm, I'm happy for. He's probably living way better. I think he said in his presser, I'm going to get you to believe in me. Uh, all the right things. But I do think we live in a world where like, you, when you make decisions, like we teach our kids and do you'll teach yours someday if you have them, you make decisions and then there's consequences. Thanks. And you don't always get to come back to that same league, to that same thing. And most importantly, to be around those young men. Because what I, what I feel is that when coaches get second chances after doing the things that he did on the stage that he's getting, it reverberates all the way down through coaching. And now we already live in a world where sport, and I think all three of us would agree, we've been given many chances, whether it's like, hey, I need an extra couple of days on my test because I got a game, or I need a little extension on this because I got practice, because I'm a baller, because I'm taking a visit. We live in this world that's growing even further where everybody gets a little extension. And I think, especially now, there's opportunity to teach. Hey, you can go through hard things. It's not always going to be easy. You don't always get an extension. You got to deal with this. And the officials at Auburn clearly don't co-sign on that, or they felt as though he was reformed enough to put him in this situation. But just like I, I don't think Urban Meyer should get another head coaching job. Like he may, I'm sure ADs would love him and he would sell season tickets. But I think you have to be accountable to your actions. And you can go coach again, but I don't know if you get to go coach again on the biggest and brightest of stages. That part. That part. If he picked up Georgia Tech yeah. or went to Colorado, which strangely enough, I don't even think Colorado, I don't even think the Pac-12 or the Big Ten would even entertain it. Maybe if you're you're bumping along the bottom. Yeah. But Auburn is like one of your friends that's dated and kissed all these toads the last couple of years. And then along comes this guy. I mean, like, what are you doing? You, you're about to commit yeah. on this? Don't you respect yourself more than that? You've been in two national championships with two different head coaches in the last 12 years. You don't think yourself more than this? You don't see yourself more than this? And the SEC has only gotten better with the head coaches, and the Big Ten's only gotten better head coaches. And this is the best you think you can do? Not NFL. Not up and comers, not coordinators, pulling a, a coach from another program like LSU did with Brian Kelly. This is the best you can do to put this individual in front of moms and dads with Google readily available now to go and, and pick and pluck. This is the you think this is the sum of who you are? Like it's just it was disappointing, really. Great for Hugh Freeze, and he got a raise, doubled his money, all this stuff. Even if he gets fired, he'll get sixty million dollars. Great for him. Like I have must be great right now. But as a school official, I'm off of it. I that I just thought. I mean, come on, Auburn, respect yourself. You're a premier program. Respect yourself. 